With the seventh pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select JJ Populaire. And the crowd goes wild, and I go up there and I shake David Stern's hand. I put on your little hat. Everybody's happy, right? But deep down, I know that you know that I know that this entire organization is in shambles. Your superstar of the future, Tyreek Evans, is down in New Orleans. DeMarcus Cousin, he's wishy-washy, right? We can't, we're struggling to keep the damn team in Sacramento. So I want to be your star, and I know you guys need a star. But here's the kicker. If I'm going to put everything I have in this organization, I need the organization to do the same for me. Can you do that? I like you, kid. You know, but I'm not sure if management is going to like you. Hell, I'm not even sure if the fans are going to like you. So my next question for you is, how do you respond to people disliking you? Okay, if you think I'm going to put on some type of facade, like uh, I'm just happy to be here, uh, you can get that out your head right now. You know what I mean? I'm the best point guard in the draft, and I know I can be the best point guard in the league. Uh, you know who people don't like? Floyd Mayweather. You know what they do when they don't like Floyd Mayweather? They spend their hard-earned money to see him lose. I'm going to be getting you guys money either way. And as for the fans, they don't know what they like, man. They just like winners. Hell, they didn't like Kobe Bryant back in the day, so I'm not really too concerned about them. This is shaping up to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship, kid. Man, relationships are overrated. I want a championship, man. The 21-year-old point guard from the University of Connecticut. So I signed my name on that dotted line for my rookie contract. Now, check this out. Now, they say, they say that they want me to provide valuable minutes off the bench. They're trying to say that I'm going to be a role player or whatever. But I think someone in upper management heard me loud and clear because if they were expecting me to be a role player all this time they wouldn't be putting me on these billboards or whatnot clearly i'm the boy of the future and i'm ready for my first game all right i worked too hard to get here people so just don't be stupid when i give you the ball all right what is up, everybody? My name is Jay Rain. Back again with the Sacramento Kings in my first NBA game. And they subbed me in with less than two minutes left. My opponent is Nate Robinson, but look at his teammate Randy Ford just throwing up nothing. Look at get it. What are you doing? What are you doing? So right now, I'm on a one-on-three fast break. I'm crossing everybody over. I get to the rim, do a nice little pretty layup. It was pretty, but it didn't fall. And look at Nate Robinson. He doesn't suspect a thing. I'm like Chris Brown. Mm, give me that. And now I'm back on a fast break again, and I'm forcing it. I get the foul call, though. See, within my first 30 seconds of being on this floor, I'm being aggressive. I'm letting everybody know you can't slack off against this rookie. Maybe some of these other rookies, but not me. And look at Nate Robinson going right back at me, showing me this is how pros do, right? He crosses me over, got a nice little layup to fall. It's 7.2 seconds left, which is just enough time for me to get right back at Nate Robinson. I'm taking it right to him, hitting the spin jumper, and I get it to fall. My jump shot broke, but don't leave me open, Nate. And that's all we got for the first quarter. We'll be right back after this. Hey, Bobby, what you doing over there, man? I'm buying a Tyreek Evans Sacramento Kings season pass tickets. If they suck too bad, you can just leave and get your money back. Well, where can I get my tickets? Kings.com. Where? Kings.com. Where? I said Kings.com, goddammit! All right, it's second quarter time. And check this out. When they sub me in, Ty Lawson is my opponent. But right now, I'm on a mismatch. I think that's Andre Miller. I'm giving him some work, but it's not really working. So I give it up to John Salmons. I was doing too much dribbling. I set him a screen. He draws the double team. And check this out. Now, Ty Lawson is finally on me. I give him a hesitation in the crossover. Get a nice little contact layup to fall right at the buzzer. I got six points. We're up by seven. And now we're back on offense. I would have shot that, but you know my jump shot is broke so i get to pick and roll and give it up to kyle landry who dunks at home giving me my first assist of the game and look at wilson chandler right here trying to do whatever he can i don't really think it's working he gives it to ty loss and i poke it loose they call it a block whatever i'll take the stat back on defense ty lawson 
crosses me over at the top of the key. Look at that nonsense. But he gets it blocked. DeMarcus Cousins grabs the rebound. He gives it to me. I'm not too happy that I got crossed. So I'm taking it all the way back. And I hop step and I draw the foul. I draw the foul. Not draw the foul because that's not a word. Check me out as I knock down the free throw. And I knock down the second one too because it's the easiest shot in basketball, people. Next up, Nate Robinson is trying to give me that work. But I'm not having it. And he gives it up to J.J. Hickson. J.J. Hickson gives it back to him. I give him too much space, but he misses. Look at me running away from the rebound. That's a rookie mistake. And I see my boy sprinting down the side, so I try to throw the oop. It gets swatted back at me because we're not in college anymore. That's not going to fly, but my jumper will. I told you, my jumper's broke, but it don't leave me open. Next up, it's only a few seconds left on the shot clock, but Kenneth Reed bangs on this dude. Come on, D, cuz. Man, don't nobody care about that dunk, but you see me, not as long as I'm in Sacramento, we're not going to have that. So I'm trying to run the pick and roll, let D-Cuz get him back. I end up turning the ball over. Not the smartest idea I've ever had. He gives it to Wilson Chandler, who bangs on John Salmons. And the foul. Oh, my goodness. Two of my teammates getting dunked on on back-to-back -back possessions. That's not the way we want to go into the half. And with that being said, we're going into the half. So I'll holler at you dudes and later. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen J. Smith with the Halftime Report. For the Sacramento Kings, I have four words for you. The rookie is balling. I mean, I thought that these Sacramento Kings have been out of their minds to draft this kid in the lottery. But clearly, maybe I just haven't done my research. Because this kid is playing defense. He's playing offense. He's getting steals. He's getting blocks. That jump shot looks a little suspect, but that's another story. But on the other end, the Denver Nuggets. I have one of the most athletic performances of the night. I thought that they were just going to bulldoze their way through this game against these garbage kings. But apparently the rookie has something else to say about it. I can't wait for the game. Back to you guys. And that's the game. Yes, I know, anticlimactic, but I didn't get any burn in the second half. I would at least like to touch the ball once or twice. We end up losing, dropping our first game to the Denver Nuggets. Not exactly the coming out party that I want to have, but if you guys will excuse me, I have to get out these stanky clothes and into this press conference. I'll holler at you guys there. You've just played your first official NBA game. Did things go as you expected? Okay, see, I'm still a rookie. I'm still trying to learn the pace of the NBA, so my numbers aren't exactly where I want them to be at, right? But let me tell you some things that I expected. I expected to get more minutes than a Robot Chicken episode. I expected some of my teammates to knock down their jumpers. Talking to you, John Salmons. Yes, you, nigga. And I expect to get a win next time. Damn. Man, y'all tripping, man. This interview over, man. Shit. 